This is it then. The round of eight in the NIUK Cup Series starts here for season number four today as the cars take to the track at the Dover International Speedway. 40 laps, one winner, and for the eight playoff drivers that remain, their first chance to see a spot in the championship four for this season. Welcome everyone back to the channel. I'm glad you can join us again today, which should be another enthralling race in this very eventful season. It's been a long one, but we're getting here with just six races remaining in the season. Uh, today is a great opportunity for these playoff drivers to get their spot in the so coveted round of four. To have that opportunity to fight for a championship, it's going to be huge. On pole for today's race then, Eli Bright with a great uh, effort in qualifying. He's still looking for his first NRUK Cup Series win. That's a very attainable result for him today. Starting to his outside is Nonagon Scott in the 12. He is a chaser. Uh, one of four that are currently above this cutoff line. So, of course, if he goes down to points and it stays the way it is right now, Nonagon Scott would be in. But, of course, that's all going to change. Still three long races left to go in this round. And, in fact, the two chase drivers that start behind him, both Colton Yo and Nathan Stapleton, also currently sit above that cutoff line. Tim Gary rounded out your top five before a good qualifying effort from Zachary Delello, who starts in sixth. Then we have Keegan Thompson starting inside the top ten Right here with Roman Fenway, the likes of Riley Spurley Tube and Max Rossi as well. Uh, Kyle Hunter and Mac Johnson had great quality efforts. Rutkowski, who won last time out at Auto Club. Good victory for him, but he is behind the ball game. Five points below that calf line at this current point in time. Then we go back through the field. You find your two slowest starting chasers. The 22 of Jake Richardson. He is plus 20 to the good. However, Evan Hunter minus 20. So it's a big day today for the 11 team as they look to get back on track and back in to the championship picture. Three drivers then failed inspection before this race had even begun. Cody Smart, Keith Stevens and William Seaman all to the back of the grid for multiple uh, OS scanning failures. They'll be at the back, but they're going to try and work their way up through the field today uh, and see if they can get a good finish uh, towards the front of the field as the cars will take to the track then. Eli Bright is still looking for his first NIUK Cup Series victory. It's kind of hard to believe that this man has not found himself uh, crossing the line in P1. He's got a good opportunity to stay though, but he is going to have to fend off challenges from the other drivers. And these chase drivers with a big opportunity to make it in for a shot of the title today. They're going to be racing aggressively, so just watch out for that. Pace cars down pit lane then. 40 laps. We're going to kick it on, off underway here. The round of eight in the NLUK Cup Series is about to go green. Eli Bright and Nonagon Scott on the front row. And here they go. Down to the start-finish line. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Dover. Brilliant start then from Eli Bright into turns three and four for the first time today. He's going to lead lap number one here at Dover. Colton Yo and uh, Nolan Scott getting very racy back in the background. Three wide, Roman Fenway splitting in between Zachary Delello and Riley Spurley Tube. They're getting very aggressive on lap one here. Keegan Thompson looked low. Couldn't make it stick low. Four wide most definitely won't work here. Three wide is a push as well. Battle for second behind Bright. Nonagon Scott pushed way out the racetrack by both Stuart Haas racing cars of Colton Yo and Tim Gary. Big, big moves early on in this race. All the chasers up the racetrack. Rutkowski finding room on the inside lane. Colton Yo clears for second place. But Eli Bright has led the opening couple of laps here. Yo and Nonagon Scott get clear. Nonagon's going to look for second place. Both of these drivers racing hard. Look at Keegan Thompson making some nice early progress in that 48. He's to the inside of Nathan Stapleton right now. Caution is out anyway. We have a caution and it is the back markers. Alex Reynolds has gone around as well as William Seaman. So the first caution of the day is out here. 
I believe Eli Bright's going to lead them to back to the stripe. Look at the run that Stapleton got through the turn. He beats and bangs with Nottingham Scott coming to the race line. And there we have it. First caution of the day is out then. Eli Bright is your race leader. Now every lap of the way so far. But the double zero in the 10 and gone for a spin. William Seaman caught up in this one. That's where he kind of gets for starting at the back of the field. Unfortunately, let's go see how this first caution of the day has happened. Racing kind of free slash four wide off the turn here. It just didn't work for these guys. Cody Smart stuck in the middle. William Seaman on the inside. So you get very close here. And the double zero kind of sticks to his line. And a 10 comes up into the 43. He kind of gets pinched. They pinch together. And they go flying down the front stretch. Double zero around. Uh, if he, he's going to just tap the inside wall here. William Seaman kind of spinning trying to avoid a double zero. He gets a bit of damage on his race car as well. And just a small two-car instant to bring out the first caution here. We don't need to see any more replays of that. Eli Bright has led every lap of the way so far. Uh, can he remain out in front? We'll find out when we get back to your restart here very shortly. Coming back to restart then on lap number nine. Uh, no cars happened that one. But double zero and ten could have damage. Maybe they might be lap cars. But we'll find out uh, when we get to that point during the race. The top ten is as followed. Eli Bright leads the race. Colton Young second. Third for Nathan Stapleton. Fourth is Nonagon Scott. Fifth Tim Yarry. Sixth is Keegan Thompson. Seventh is Riley Spurlitube. Eighth for Kyle Hunter. Ninth for Roman Fenway. And Joe Rutkowski runs out your top ten. In terms of where the other chases are, Jake Richardson down in 13th. Max Rossi down in 14th. Evan Hunter in 20th. So those guys got to make up some positions here. So the race goes on. As uh, the you know, the, those chases inside the top five right now, they are already above the cut line. Come back to the restart zone, then green flag back out in the air once again. Bright got on the gas pretty well, but not, uh, pardon me, Colton Yo sticking with him. Off of turn two, can the 14 pull low, or does Stapleton get a chance to take a challenge to second place? Bright with a great run through the turn, a little bit high on exit. But that won't matter because Nathan Stapleton has got to the inside for second and might look for the lead here. Staple has yet to win this season. Can he win at the most crucial of times? Trying to run down that 88 that's led the opening 10 laps. Tim Gary in the four car pushing him. Look at Riley Spurley Chu coming into the picture. Kyle Hunter having a great run in the 34 for Front Row Motorsports. Battle for seconds not over yet though because the 14 of Colton Young got a great run off the high side and my lord, Max Rossi almost got his shit done by the uh, 18 of Mathis Wells. That could have been very, very interesting there. Good save from Rossi in the 41. They jostle down the backstretch. Long and Scott's going three wide for second place. Keegan Thompson from top to bottom and four wide. Incredible move from the 48. That was a big bulls move from the 48 and he pulled it off. Great stuff from Keegan Thompson. Getting racy here, getting aggressive, trying to work his way up towards the front. Trying to join his Hendrick Motorsports teammate there. Towards the front. Nolan Scott in the middle of a free wide mess once again. Riley Spurley shoot this time towards his inside. All getting very racy and very aggressive here on lap number 12. And now a change for the lead. Bright up the racetrack. Can Colton Yo capitalise? Keegan Thompson is there though as well. He's putting on some good pressure here. That 48 looks dialed into the racetrack. Tim Gary's not going away just yet. But Eli Bright, great run off the turn. The 88 stays strong, holds the lead for now. And they go 3 wide for seconds. The 88 is loving this racing behind them right now. And this is not going to work for much longer because they're getting very aggressive. Riley Spurley tube, 4 wide almost. That was not going to work, but Nathan Stapleton smartly move backs out of it but my lord they're getting very very racy here on what is only lap number 14 and now the caution flies again and around goes spurly tube spurly tube and the 17 have gone around they're all piling into it behind them oh my luke rainey's flipped and we have arca braked it both rcr cars are on their lids boys 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 what are we doing evan hunters escaped scot free luckily there was another wreck out back. I believe it involved the double zero of Alex Reynolds again. This time maybe Keith Stevens as well. And everyone else just piled into it like they didn't have any breaks. My lord. Shaw all torn up. Fenway turned, got into contact with a 19. That wrecked both of their days. We ain't gonna have half the field left here. 
boy, oh boy, that was just a bonkers sequence. Spurly Tube's got big damage, so he'll be coming down pit lane. Bright is your leader. We'll see how this caution has happened. And this 43 guy is on a bit of a wrecking spree today. He's onto the inside of uh, Keith Stevens here at the back of the field. See him battling with the likes of JJ Reed, and they just kind of beat and bang again. And the 43 involved in another incident, turns the two car into the inside wall. Stevens back up the racetrack, hits into the 51 of uh, Dylan. And uh, there goes Reynolds, piles into the front of the two. Of course, that was the first incident. The second incident involves this bloke here. Uh, Riley Spurly Tube, who you see out of the turn here. Racing with uh, Roman Fenway. Rutkowski's there as well. And they just kind of run out of racetrack and room here. Very similar to the Stevens and the Smart incident. They get hooked together. The 19 towards the bottom of the racetrack. Big hit with a 17 of Fenway. Um, and then they kind of just break here. They all kind of break. And no one really, you know, expects the checkup. Now goes the 8 of Luke Rainey on his roof. And here goes William Seaman into the this bit to send the 3 of William Bulin over as well. Everyone just did not anticipate that much of a checkup, and they all piled and piled in there and just tore up their race cars, pretty much. Boy, oh boy. Arca break moment. It's claimed the likes of William Duncan and Felix Janssen out from this one. Again, they just kept on piling in. Kind of started with the three of William Buren all around here. See them racing here, they break, and then the 3 gets hit by the 37, the 37 gets hit by the 38, and it just starts a big chain of spinning and crashing, and everyone piles into it, there's no tomorrow. Crazy stuff there. Eli Bright has led every lap of the way so far, and the 88 is very strong indeed. Can he hold on to this lead? We'll find out at the restart. Coming back to restart then, on lap number 19... Long list of cars out from uh, this race. Uh, Alex Reynolds is done. Dylan Trieste is done. Keith Stevens out for the day. William Seaman. Sam Oskan. JJ Reed. All out. Riley Snare has perished. So has Brandon Grenier. Felix Janssen is out. Uh, the 38 Diego Pez, I believe, is also done. The Nebrahemia might be out. I think he is out. Um... Uh, and so is Anthony Chaubois as well. A few damaged cars out on the racetrack, including Luke Rainey, Carter Friesen, Derek Hamill, Roman Fenway, William Bulin. All these guys have damage in one form or another, so that car's definitely going to be a factor now, and that's not what the leaders wanted to hear, especially this 88 car that's led every lap of the way so far. The 19 Riley Spurly Tube's also going to have damage. He is starting um, in... The seventh position, so anyone from seventh on back could be in trouble here because the 19 could be slow going on this restart. Your leader, Eli Bright, Yo second, Thompson third, Gary fourth, and Stapleton in fifth. Can the 19 get going? He probably won't, but the green flag is fly once again. Again, kind of a similar kind of restart. The 88 probably slightly better than the last one. And the 19 is slow, but he is up the racetrack and... A lot of drivers there got to the inside, including Kyle Hunter. More importantly, two chasers, Rutkowski and Richardson, both got to the inside. So that's big and important for them. Meanwhile, Tim Gary's making moves, looking for a win as he's going to be exiting Stuart Haas Racing at the end of the year. He wants a win to finish off his tenure there. I tell you what, they're going to have to do a good job of catching 88 of Eli Bright right now. Colton Yeo's doing a nice job in the 14, though. He's probably... A big, a big threat to Eli Bright. If we've seen anyone so far be a threat, he's been the one. Although at the moment, he's getting raced very hard by teammate Tim Gary. Gary cuts him some slack this time. Allows the 14 to maybe get a better shot of the 88 here. Down the back stretch they go. Scott and Thompson side by side for P5. Into turns three and four. Can the 14 get alongside the 88 of Eli Bright? He will this time, going into turns one and two. But Bright has been very strong in this outside lane. He's going to clear him again. Eli Bright, too strong at the moment. Too good for the rest of the field. Putting on a clinic here at Dover. Here comes Joe Rutkowski up to the front for the first time today. So he's progressed throughout the field. Front two get clear again as the rest of the field battle it out behind them. But 
but Eli Bright has led every single lap of the way so far and he, that, no one looks like he's going to stop him as of right now. However, we have to take into consideration the slow cars that will have damage and will be lapped down. They could probably have the biggest impact on this race out of anyone. Front four are clear from the rest of the pack. Maybe front five. Oh no, Richardson dumps Rutkowski. Joe Rutkowski's around. Oh no, the one car tumbling in on the banks of Dover. Is he going to get hit or he get tapped by Hamill? Hopefully no one else is going to hit him here. Friesen comes close. And oh my god. Chase contender, Joe Rutkowski Rex. He got turned by um, Jake Richardson. And the one car is not going to be happy. The 22 got into the back right quarter panel. He turned the one car around. And for the third time today, we are under caution. Big damage for Hamill, Rainey and Fletcher as well. Car's going to come in here and pit, maybe? No, they won't. I thought they were going to pit there. I don't know why they, they didn't. But this is a big developing story here. Jarek House came into the race five points below the cut line. That's going to be damaged significantly now. Maybe in the next two rounds, he might have to find himself in a must-win situation because of this result that's happening right now. Simply, simply unbelievable. Catch you guys up in a second to see how this wreck happened. The one car goes flipping at Dover. Same place where all the other wrecks have been happening. The one car and the 22 racing hard. Remember, these are both chasers fighting for points and position. Gets into the quarter panel there and turns the one car around into the wall. The 22 also gets damaged, but the one comes back up the racetrack. He does look up the wheels, trying to avoid the 41 of Max Rossi and Evan Hunter, who both caught the wall there. So... Those are other chasers that might have damage. They both kind of got into the wall there. Hunter definitely worse than the 41. So they're going to have damage as well. And look at them just tumble. There's the damage with the 32. And I don't know what happened to Fletcher. But he was obviously slow. And the 8 car looks like he had damage as well. Eli Bright continues to lead. But Colton Yo is growing into this race. As The more we get on with it. Back for the restart for the fourth time today. Next. Back to restart here on lap 30, uh, 29 even. Not many laps to go now. And Eli Bright is in good position here to maybe grab his first victory. Rainey is out. Derek Hamill retired. Alex Fletcher retired. And perhaps the biggest of all, Joe Rutkowski is out of the race. A big dent to his championship hopes. In terms of where the other chasers run. Richardson in P17 right now. Evan Hunter P14. Max Rossi 12th. The rest of them inside the top six. Your order, with just a few laps remaining here, it's Bright, Yo, Stapleton, Gary, Thompson, Scott, Kyle Hunter, Wells, Jeff Bright, and Alexander Rowe. Here we go then, back to the restart zone once again today. Can anyone beat the 8 of Eli Bright? We're about to find out. To the line, green flag back out in the air, we're racing again. Good start again from Eli Bright. You cannot fault his restarts today. They have been flawless. But the 14 got a great run through the turn that time. A decent push from Stapleton as well. But he cannot make it stick going into turns three and four. As the 48 moves Tim Gary up the racetrack. Nolligan Scott making charges. Making moves here. They continue a battle for second. As the 88 will lead out in front. Stapleton looking for the position on Colton Yo. Can't get there right now as the 88 remains out in front. Yo is trying to make a run though. But where can he get it done? Because the 88 has just been strong everywhere on the racetrack today. Going to get aggressive behind him. Oh, Jeff Bright's around and we're going to be cautioned again. Does Hunter stay out of it? He will. Hunter, Richardson, all the chasers stay out of it again, I believe. Max Rossi is on the apron, but he looks fine. Eli Bright cannot catch a break at the moment. He's going to have another caution once again here. And another restart to deal with as the 9 car Jeff Bright goes around. Here we go. Back to the stripe. It's going to be tight. But Eli Bright just about gets there. That could be more important than you think, you know. Because if Colton Yo had been out front uh, as they came to the line there, that could have spelt big trouble for Eli Bright. But there you go. They cannot stop wrecking here. This time it's the 9 of Jeff Bright that goes off the... 
around off the bumper of his teammate Keegan Thompson and Mathis Wells. And we're spinning again, and here we go again. We're going to have another restart here, and this one is going to be a late one. And again, they're just racing four wide off of turn four, and it just hasn't worked any time today at all. So they continue to do that here through the turn, the 24 kind of pressure in the 9 stuck in a Hendrick Motorsport sandwich the 18 has nowhere to go into the 9 into the 48 of Keegan Thompson the 41 of Max Rossi does get a bit of damage there hits the 9 card just a little bit on the quarter panel Mitchell Collins into the inside wall Evan Hunter will miss it for now going to be a big late race restart here and Eli Bright cannot catch a break he's going to have to do another one of his restarts but they have been good so far can Colton Yo find anything for Eli? When we come out to race start, it'll be five to go. I believe that means if the caution does come out within those five laps, the race will be over and the first driver to make it back to the stripe wins. With the amount of cautions we have seen today, that is probably very likely. No one is out from that wreck. But Eli Bright, career win number one, could be on his way. He could lead every single lap here at Dover and get the win. Second. For Colton Yo, can he win to get himself into the round of four? Tim Gary in third. Stapleton Scott round out the top five. Carl Hunt having a great run in sixth. Chase and Max Rossi in eighth. Thompson is tenth. Hunter fourteenth from Richardson in sixteenth. Final time today. We're going to get a restart. Can he lie bright? Hold on. Or does Colton Yo steal away the victory? Green flag in the air. We're racing again. A perfect restart from the 88. Trying to lead every single lap of this race. What sort of move can Colton Yo pull? Down into turns three and four. Bright slightly up the racetrack. Does that give Yo a window of opportunity? He's there on the inside lane. Who clears into turns one and two? The 14 is there. But Bright tries and rolls the high side. Tim Gary takes it free wide for the lead. And he's out in front in the lead. Tim Gary out of nowhere to the inside lane. But the 88 is sticking strong. Eli Bright has the best race car. And he clears them once again. Oh, there goes Mac Johnson around with Evan Hunter. This will be the race. It's been a long time coming for this driver. Who's had a struggling season. In this year's NIUK Cup Series, he's missed the chase altogether. It's taken him four seasons, but he's finally going to do it. Eli Bright rounds turn four to win at Dover and claim his first NIUK Cup Series victory. Mac Johnson was the one that went around off Evan Hunter. But Evan is all right. He did not get too caught up in that. Comes home for a P15 finish. But finally, the streak's over for this man. I believe he's going to lead every single lap on his way to victory. Lacole was just too strong. Simply too strong. He led every lap in this one. Colton Yo will come in second. That's great for his championship uh, hopes. Tim Gary made it free wide there for the lead late on. It was a ballsy move from the four. He tried to win it all for himself, but he could not get it done. Alexander Rowe comes over with a top five. Kyle Hunter inside the top 10. That's a great result for him with a P8 finish. And these points are going to be shaken up massively. Get out the final finishing order for you here then. See where you guys finished. Tough day for a lot of drivers. But Eli Bright is finally going to be celebrating and doing a victory donuts and victory burnouts here at Dover. He has won this race. Congratulations to him on a great, great victory. That rounds it off. Next time we'll be heading to Texas to see if anyone could book their place in the round of four. Uh, until next time, this has been NIUK. And we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.